Doug Keating. Let's have a nice round of applause for our host, Kevin, doing a great job. Uh, unlike our last comedian, I absolutely am happy Halloween is over. I was sick and tired of those decorations, I'm telling you. I, I did a show last week in Hamilton. I, uh, I saw some really scary, spooky stuff, and then I saw some decorations. <laughs> like, three of these houses had shopping carts. They really went all out there. You know, and I finally figured it out. They were like, oh, fuck it. If he comes get the shopping cart, he can keep the quarter. <laughs> That's, that's the way they're looking at it. And I thought I was like it. But you can see it. Society is changing. And in fact, by the year 2020, 85% of people will be overweight. I guess I'm just ahead of the curve. <laughs> and you can see society changing. You know, it used to be a six pack, now it's dad bought soon. Pretty soon. And hopefully, you know, a lot of people's attitudes change a little better. You know, when you people start catching up. Because I want to live in a world where I can walk down the street in a white shirt without the fear of someone showing a movie on my back. <laughs> I want to be able to wear a red shirt in public and not have people panic, think I'm going to break through their walls screaming, Oh yeah! <laughs> I want to live in a world where I can walk on the glass floor of the CN Tower. <laughs> and not have people die for cover. <laughs> Did you know that I have to pay for two seats on an airplane, but I don't get two meals on that airplane? Who's eating my other meal? <laughs> you know what? If I have to pay for two seats on an airplane, I should be allowed to drive in the HOV lane. <laughs> But not all companies are like that. Some companies have the foresight to see what's coming. Air Canada does not charge me for a second seat on an airplane, provided I bring a doctor's note to prove I'm overweight. What? <laughs> what? I had no idea so many people were faking fat. <laughs> so wait, if I don't have a doctor's note, does that mean I'm thin? <laughs> I just created the no note diet. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I want to live in a world where fat guy parking is right next to handicap parking. <laughs> and it's not because I can't walk 200 meters. Okay, it's because I can't walk 200 meters. <laughs> but it is hard to be fat in society today. Try being black. <laughs> hey, at least you can run from the cops. <laughs> and you don't see cops hanging out at Popeyes. <laughs> All the white people are like, damn, did he just say that? And the black guys are like, damn, I'd go for Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> but it is harder to be fat in society today than it is to be disabled. And that's because people help the handicapped. You see a handicapped person slip, you're gonna help them. You see a fat guy falling, you're gonna know your video camera. <laughs> handicapped person in an elevator, you're gonna hold the door for him, right? You're a good guy. Fat guy in an elevator, all you do is stare up at that how many persons sum. <laughs> <laughs> and I see you doing the math. <laughs> Fucking kilograms. <laughs> but people are afraid to be big nowadays. They are. You have anorexia, bulimia, gastric bypass, lap band surgery. I knew this one girl. She wanted to get rid of that last little bit of weight. Ladies, you know what I mean, right? That last little bit. And she couldn't do it. So she decided to have surgery, and she did. She had surgery, and she got rid of her Adam's apple. <laughs> Well, wait till you get there. I probably should have realized when she came to me and said, Hey, does this cock make my ass look fat? I said, No. 
She's a virgin now. That's okay. You'll get that in a bit. <laughs> but you know what? There are some advantages to being big. Actually, Big Bopper mentioned it earlier. Um, one of the biggest advantages of being a big guy is... Um, how shall I put this? Uh, we are amazing at going down on women. I'm talking about eating pussy, dude. And that's because we learned how to breathe and eat at the same time. And fucking is a lot of work. I'm done kidding. Fat guys matter. Get her up.